DigiPen is a, a university, it's an accredited university in the United States. It is actually a um, young aged university since we are 25 years old now, this year. So we're not too old. But in the game industry, in the simulation industry, we are probably grandfather everybody. The game industry is actually a very strange and uh, demanding industry. The demand comes from the fact that it is, um, it is actually driven by the, the kids of the world. A game can sell you know, millions of copies, millions of you know, people can play them. And I mean by kids, people who are usually between the age of uh, uh, you know, three years old to 99 years old. So DigiPen is started by educating people into this industry and it is probably one of the most known uh, school in the world doing uh, such uh, preparation. And as I said, the video game industry need these days e excellent people, outstanding people, because the actual game run on a very simple hardware. Games don't run on supercomputers. They run on telephones, smartphones, handhelds, PCs, and usually when we actually use a PC, we actually try to utilize the lowest end so everybody on Earth can enjoy our game. I mean, obviously, if you have to buy a PC that costs you $10,000, and later on so you can buy a game that costs 20 bucks so it runs, it doesn't make sense. A game engineer, whether a, in the um, hardware or in the software engineering, is a person that will have to actually not only understand the uh, hardware to its you know, minute levels, they have to actually also understand how to actually solve problems, which could be different. Today we're making, let's say, a flight simulator. Tomorrow we'll be making a racing game. The day after tomorrow we'll be making some strategy game. All of these games lives in worlds. Worlds means physics. Physics means you have to solve the problems at hand using mathematics. So our students need to actually be, in engineering, very competent and become very competent in mathematics, for example, first and foremost, which is actually something very difficult to achieve. Hence, the difficulty of becoming a software engineer. Artists in the game industry are people who can actually represent worlds, represent creative ideas concretely and precisely. They come to us basically without any art for you know, education, because in the normal education you have studied mathematics, but you didn't study really the arts at the level you have studied math. Well, this brings me to, should I apply to DigiPen? Well, most like it, you should, because you, you, you took the time to come, and I want you to apply. DigiPen will never, ever, ever flex when it comes to actually reducing the quality of its education. Because when you, when you come and you pay your tuition, we owe it to you to make sure that when you graduate, you are valuable. We have today some extremely good news. We were waiting for the results of the International Game Festival. The International Game Festival is very important to us. And when you win in this event, it's like you won the jackpot. And not a, not a school just wishing to win. Hundreds of schools are wishing to win over there. Every year, somewhere around 300 projects are given to the IGF and school, the best in the world, compete against each other. And since the creation of the IGF competition, DigiPen has placed, to date, um, 38. 38 wins. The next university behind us has only five. And the third in rank has three. Yesterday, they announced the eight finalists at the IGF competition. Two of them are from DigiPen. As usual, we rock. <laughs> we have never actually missed one since the, cons you know, the inception of the, of, the, of the competition. Now we'll be waiting to see whether one of these two games will be winning. 
the best game of the year. Now, what is the good news and super good news for us here? Is that one of the two was made here in Singapore by our students. So that's the best news I could give you here today for us, for Singapore, for these students. Meanwhile, we have a good reputation of being one of the hardest schools, engineering-wise or art-wise, in the world. But I cannot go away from here not telling you that if you join DigiPen, it is not going to be an easy road. So please take the time to study the entrance. We, you know, we will probably go with an interview, and once you're accepted, you have to be able to give that time that you have put aside for your education. This is the only way, really, you can become proficient and solid and actually face the real world with your knowledge. And it will not stop there. Knowledge, you would have to continue studying for life. For those people who actually like and have the passion to do video gaming simulation in general. And I'm talking about video gaming not necessarily only for the entertainment world. We actually at DigiPen produce uh, software that has, is very serious, and we call it serious gaming. These people work in, for the aviation industry, for the military industry, for the automotive industry. We utilize also our knowledge, and we produce uh, software that manages in real time F1 races. Formula One races. As a matter of fact, our software is used by Lotus and Renault. And during the race today, the manager of the race does not rely on binoculars or blimp that is shooting the scene. We actually rely on sensors coming from the car. We know the history of all the drivers. We know exactly when our driver should be going into the pit. And we know exactly what will happen if they pit now and for how many seconds, we can predict their, their, their ranking in the, at the end of the race, in the middle of the race. We can study what's happening in the race with our opponents. We know their past. We study their curves, their path on the, on, on the line. And we instruct via radio our drivers to actually overtake at that moment and not in the other moment. So that's this person will be better off for you taking him on a hairpin rather than on a straight line. We also produce the software for the indie races in the United States in real time. These are games for real happening sometimes at the speed of light, sometimes at the speed of sound, and sometimes at 300 miles an hour. And there is no time for errors. So it's critical programming that is necessary and our kids are doing it and we are succeeding. So being in simulation for entertainment, whether an artist or a scientist, it is not necessary to think only about video games that you buy for your handheld. It is called, the other world is called serious gaming and trust me, is very, very serious.